Quick question. What's your survival rate and KD ratio in Tarkov? I'm kidding. Don't answer that. Let's talk about this. Common stats like your survival rate, KD ratio, total PMCs killed, in my opinion, aren't the true gauge of how good or bad you are at Tarkov. Don't get me wrong, they do state some facts about you as a Tarkov player, but these shouldn't be the tell-all of how good or bad you are at the game. There are a million different reasons why some of your numbers are the way they are. Example, PMC A could be way more mechanically skilled in aim and movement than PMC B, but still have a lower survival rate. Maybe because PMC A is hyper aggressive and goes headfirst into fights. Meanwhile, PMC B has a higher survival rate but a lower KD ratio because he carefully chooses fights he can win. Also, maybe PMC A plays Tarkov mainly for the PvP, while PMC B plays mainly for the questing and enjoys the immersive survival feel of Tarkov. And the list goes on. At the end of the day, stats say more about the way you play Tarkov versus how good you are at the game. Playstyles will always be compared from one to the other, and this has been an issue in the Tarkov community for a while now. But there is no superior playstyle if you think about it, especially in a game like Tarkov, and that's the beauty of it. There are a ton of ways to not only play Tarkov, but to enjoy Tarkov. So what's the point of me talking about all this? Well, as a streamer, it's a pretty common thing for me to see people debate stuff like, X amount is my current stash value, what's yours at? Or X is my survival rate, what's yours at? Or I have X million rubles, what's yours? And it tends to become, for the lack of a better phrase, a pissing contest between players. The reason why I decided to make this into a whole video is because I don't want people to fall into the whole stats trap. I know there's always a new Tarkov player out there or someone who's thinking of getting into the game, lurking streams, and seeing these types of conversations happen. Or maybe you're already experienced and these things are pressuring or swaying you. Tarkov, by nature, is already a punishing as heck game. I promise you, even if you have a survival rate of 70 or 80%, which is pretty high, and a pretty decent KD ratio, you'll still feel like you've been getting your nuts kicked in by Tarkov every day. Also, Tarkov's KD ratio includes scabs as well, so it's a bloated number that doesn't mean too much. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's that I want you to forget the stats and just enjoy the game the way you want to. Numbers like your survival rate can change the way you play if you're consistently keeping track of it. If you're trying to keep your survival rate at a certain threshold, instead of just letting your raids play out naturally, you're gonna overthink trying your best to survive to keep that number up and the fun in the long run goes out the window. And how do I know this? Because I used to be like this. The two stats I'd always keep an eye on was my win streak and my survival rate, and it was toxic and stupid. It made me not enjoy the game anymore. I remember a couple of years ago in the second Tarkov Punisher tournament I competed in, hosted by Pestily, the winner of our region out here in Asia was a Korean player who was crazy insane at the game and was just demolishing lobbies. But on his main account, he averaged just under 30% survival rate. It was because he was a hyper aggressive aggressive W key player who would clear lobbies and this would entail a high risk, high reward playstyle. So deaths were inevitable. I personally average around 55% survival rate versus his 30%. So does that mean I'm better than him? Nope, not at all. This further proves stats mean nothing. So what really makes a good Tarkov player? Tarkov is such a complex game that there are so many aspects a player can be good at. You could be a great PvPer, or you could be great at dealing with AI like bosses and rogues. Or you could be a crazy quest speedrunner. Or maybe you're not a great solo player, but you make a great squad leader. But in my opinion, what makes a great Tarkov player is someone who can adjust accordingly to a multitude of situations that Tarkov provides. Are you a solo player being pushed by a three-man squad in dorms? What's your play? Is your squad in deep trouble? How do you pull everyone together to turn the tide in your favor? Is a certain quest holding you back from progressing? What's the fastest and best way to beat it? Again, these questions are limitless and can go on and on. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to find the true quality of how good or bad someone is at Tarkov. The point is, I want you to leave the stats behind and enjoy Tarkov for what it is. If anything, Tarkov Arena is what will bring the true competitive spirit of who's better than who. But for now, we're all getting clapped in Tarkov together. Also, if you really want to know why you're bad at Tarkov, watch this video right here.